As we speak on the fourth of the five celebrated days of Diwali, we arrive at Govardhan Puja. Govardhan Puja dates back to an episode that related Bhagwan Krishna, Govardhan Brahman, and Indra in a little leela, a little play. And Bhagwan Krishna established to the world that Govardhan Brahman, who resided over Govardhan Parvat, Govardhan Mountain, ought to be honored. It was a message for the Brahmins of the world who are the custodians of Sanatan Dharma, the custodians of Gyan, who are supposed to be a moral compass for society. In so becoming, there are six duties of a Brahman but Bhagwan Krishna endorses Ved Parana Parhana, study at the feet of a guru, and then explain, carry the message to others. Yag Karna or Karana. Don't only perform yagyas and pujas that others perform at one's residence or place of abode, as the case may be. And dan dena or lena. Don't only receive gifts of charity, also don't enter charitable cause. And being a resource, a custodian, as we have said, of this knowledge, Bhagwan Krishna stepped in when it came to a confrontation between Indra Dev and Govardhan to tell him there should be no transgression of such a Brahman because in the absence of God, they are really the messengers. So in Govardhan Puja, one worships simultaneously Govardhan Parvat along with Bhagwan Krishna. All this on the day following Diwali.